In this problem, we're told that f of x is 1 fourth x squared. And two parts here, a and b. Part a, we're told, find the area under the graph from x equals 1 to x equals 2.5. Okay, this is straightforward. We just need to do the integral from 1 to 2.5 of this function. So that's 1 fourth x squared dx. And so the x squared, when we integrate that, we'll get x cubed over 3. And we already have this 4 down here, so this ends up being x cubed over 12 evaluated from 1 to 2.5. So this is going to be 2.5 cubed over 12 minus 1 over 12. And I punched that into the calculator and I got 1.21875. Now in part B it says explain with words and an appropriate sketch why a midpoint Riemann sum is a good approximation to the area. And then we're also told to explain why the midpoint Riemann sum underestimates the area in this particular case. And this is a good question. Two things about this. We're told to explain with words. Okay, and that's important. If you can articulate something, that's a good indication that you understand it well. And if you can't articulate it, then that's a good indication that you don't understand it well. So you should be able to explain these concepts. And practice doing that is a, is a good way to make sure you understand it. And then we're also told to explain with an appropriate sketch. A sketch, as you've heard me say many times, helps you visualize the problem and often gives you a greater degree and a more thorough degree of understanding than you would have without it. So let's think about this. Let's, um, let's make a little sketch here. Let's draw uh, a parabola. This is a graph of 1 fourth x squared, so it's going to be doing something like this. That's what our function looks like. And let's imagine going from, what was it, 1 to 2.5. So we're going from some value here to some value here. Okay, we'll call that 1 and 2.5. And a Riemann sum will break this up into pieces. And to keep it simple, let's assume these x increments are the same, although they don't have to be. And the midpoint Riemann sum means we look at one of these intervals and we take the midpoint at that interval and we take the x value at that midpoint and we make a rectangle there. And then we take the midpoint of the next interval and we find the value of the function at that x value and we make our rectangle at that height and then here and we could conceivably do this with a lot more intervals but I want to make them big enough to see so that's a midpoint Riemann sum okay now to explain with words why the midpoint Riemann sum is a good approximation to the area the explanation is this this rectangle the top of this rectangle does not exactly match the top of the curve but notice this part of the rectangle here that's up above the curve causes the midpoint Riemann sum to overestimate the area but this part of the the area under the curve that's outside the rectangle right there that causes the midpoint Riemann sum to underestimate the area so at each at each point at each rectangle the midpoint Riemann sum tends to have some error both above and below the graph and those errors tend to cancel each other out they don't cancel each other out perfectly but they tend to cancel each other out and that is why a midpoint Riemann sum is a good approximation to the area and you should write that uh, on a problem like this when it says explain with words you should give a written explanation and there's my written explanation a midpoint Riemann sum tends to have some error both above and below the graph. These errors tend to cancel out, making the result very accurate in most cases. And then there's one more part to this question. We're told to explain why, why the midpoint Riemann sum underestimates the area in this particular case. And so the key to understanding this involves looking at the top of one of these rectangles. Any one of them will do. So I'm going to take one of these and zoom in on the top. Here's my curve and the top of the rectangle sits like this and so there's some error here 
where this rectangle is overestimating this area and then there's some error here some error area here where this rectangle is underestimating this area so which of these is bigger these little white shaded regions I'm coloring in here which of those is larger and you might be able to tell by looking that this one is smaller and this one over here is bigger but understand the reason this curve this curve is concave up so it's sloping up but it's sloping up steeper and steeper as we go to the right so this part over here is steeper than this part over here so this part moves up and away from the top of the rectangle faster and so this area here ends up being bigger than this one here so since this one is smaller you can see that the area under the graph which includes this small region but not this slightly larger one ends up underestimating the area so you should you should have a written explanation for that also and my written explanation was this in this case the curve is always steeper to the right of the midpoint making the error on the right larger the result therefore ends up being less than the actual value and again being able to articulate this in words is helpful and it's not only helpful it's a good indication that you actually do understand it